This is the plant Berberis thunbergii. Don't let the name scare you. There's a lot of Berberis, and people either love or hate this plant. Usually when they hate the plant, it's because of the thorns. So if you just treat this as you would a rose, look at those thorns. Woo! So make sure you wear safety glasses and you wear some nice leather gloves so you don't get poked. And do most of your pruning with a, a long-handled pruner called a lopper. Uh, you'll be happier when you prune this. But these are amazingly drought tolerant and beautiful plants for Sonoma County or anywhere that they can grow in your zone. And today I'm going to show you two different ways to prune this. One way is just to groom it for um, leaving the new gr newer growth and pruning out most of the older growth. And then at the end I'm going to show you a complete rejuvenation pruning of this plant. Because I rejuvenate this every two years because I need this to stay smaller in this area. Left unpruned, I'm gonna start pruning while I'm talking. I'm just gonna get some of this out of my way so that I don't get this the, the uh, thorns in my face. So I'm just pruning these out of the way, throwing them on a tarp, because if you have a tarp, then you're only handling this stuff once. Um, but I need to keep this smaller. This, this shrub would grow to six or eight feet and almost as wide if I never pruned it. But then I'd have a bunch of the older canes in here, older stems that are gray and unsightly. Berberis is grown for its beautiful purple stems. So I'm going down here in the bottom and getting out some of the older stems right from the ground. It won't hurt it. And this is the, if you're just cleaning it up for, um, for this season. Now, let me clear a little bit of this out and then show you. See, can you see this? Let me get this out of the way too. Can you see how this new stem is an outward facing stem? So it's, it's not on the inside of the plant, it's coming towards us on the outside. So I could prune just above that and not prune the purple stem itself. I can prune, if I can get this in here, I could do a pruning cut to take out this older part of it but leave the pretty purple stem. And I can clean that out when I get uh, more cleared out from here. So you can do it this way. Just keep pruning out what you don't want. Prune back all of these older ones. Get them out of your way. I'm just doing heading cuts on these right now to get them out of my way. And use your lopper as a, as a as your hands. You don't have to handle this stuff a lot. You can pick up these thorny stems with your lopper. Now, looking at this one, see all of this new growth. If you wanted to leave it, you could. But you have to be careful with berberis. If you prune, let's go up a little bit in the in the foliage. What I see is a lot of people come in and they just do this. But when you do that, the new growth, this cut right here, let me get this out of the way. When you cut a Berberis high up in the foliage like this, this cut is only going to stimulate down to about here, new growth. So what you'll get is what's called like a witch's broom. It's just going to give a flurry of growth. So it's going to, it's going to destroy its natural fountain-shaped beauty of this shrub. If you come along and you just do heading cuts up here, then it's just going to be sticks with a firework on top.
This part right here is too close to the fence. I don't need all of this growth because it's just gonna push through the fence and look unsightly. So I'm gonna follow this all the way down. I'm gonna cut these out from the base down here. Right down here, I'm gonna cut all of this out. In fact, I could even dig this out with a shovel because I don't really need all this growth. I have plenty of growth in the rest of the plant. At this point, you could, you could be done if you're not doing a total rejuvenation of this plant. There's a few more cuts to make, and then you could be just leaving these juvenile growth, and that would be fine, and shortening all of these to about three inches, and cutting them to an outside-facing node. If you just left this stem that has all of these new leaders, these would grow, oh gosh, two or three feet in the next season. And then you have this down, it comes down, and you might get some growth from these nodes, and you might get some growth from these nodes, but that would really distract from the beautiful fountain shape of this plant. The natural shape of this plant is skinny at the bottom and then it flares out like a fountain. So I'm gonna remove this with a heading cut. And here is, I'm going right to here. Do you see that bump? That's a node, it's dormant right now. And when I cut just above it, leaving about a quarter inch or so, then in spring when this starts to push growth, it's gonna push it from there and it's gonna head out this way. It's not gonna head in towards the center of the plant. So that's what I'm aiming for. At this point, you could stop pruning and leaving these leaders uncut. Remember, if we do a heading cut up here, you're gonna get your flurry of growth up here. And we want the flurry of growth starting about three, two or three inches down here instead. Now I'm gonna move on and do a complete rejuvenation and clean this whole thing up. When you see dead uh, stems like this, sometimes you can just pull them out. So you can test and see these are all sturdy and healthy, but this one was dead and I was able to just pull it right out of there. Um, you can use, for cleaning up, this is really helpful, just take a stem and clean the um, thorns off of it. And then this is really helpful to clean this all out in here because remember, you want sunlight to get in here to stimulate the new growth. So this is the finished rejuvenation pruning for this uh, Berberus thunbergii. And see how we've cleaned it up in the center and we've cut out big stems and old, the older stems and we have lots of new stems, pencil width, uh, pencil diameter and fatter. And so there you are, there's the finished rejuvenation pruning. It's good to get all the leaves out of there too, all the debris, so you can clear it up for better sunlight penetration. You'll get better stem sprouting from that.